Hi all. In this video, we will go through all the factors that you need to take care of while deciding on your GMAT exam date. Unlike standard Indian tests, which happen on fixed dates, GMAT happens round the year barring US holidays. Test taker can book the slot on any day depending on the availability of test centers near him or her. There are three slots in a day among which a candidate can choose the preferred slot. GMAT can be taken once every 16 calendar days which means that there must be a gap of minimum 16 days in your two successive attempts. You can take the GMAT exam for a maximum of 8 times in total and not more than 5 times a year. You can schedule the test anytime between 24 hours and 6 months from the registration date depending on the availability of slots. Usually the exam date is available around 2 weeks from the date of booking. The flexibility that GMAT provides in terms of selecting the test day itself leads to confusion among candidates on the perfect date for them to take the test. Let us investigate further and solve the mystery of a perfect GMAT test day. First question we need to answer is, what are my target business schools? Your decision on GMAT exam date will highly depend on the process that you need to follow in order to apply to your target business schools. It will also give you an idea of what score you need to target. Once you have zeroed in on your target B school list, you need to find out what are their application deadlines. For the candidates who do not wish to pursue their post graduation immediately, the college applications are not very important since the GMAT score is deemed valid for five years post the exam date. But for others, it is the most important factor to consider. Depending on your current level of preparation and your target score, decide how much time you need to be confident for the exam. You have to be mindful of the fact that you might have to take the GMAT exam again if you do not meet your target score in the first attempt. Thus, you should plan accordingly and keep in mind a suitable test date for your second attempt. Taking the GMAT is one part of your application process. Other than GMAT, you have to write compelling essays, get recommendations and prepare for interviews. Depending on whether you are a student or a working professional, all these can take anywhere from 3 to 6 months as recommenders can take time owing to their busy schedules. You should make provision of the time for preparing and submitting the required documents well before the application deadline. Many business schools require non-native English speakers to write IELTS or TOEFL also in addition to GMAT. Thus, you should factor in the time to prepare for any additional exam in your plan. Let's recap the questions. What are my target business schools? What are the application deadlines? How many hours do I need for preparation? What if I have to retake the test? What time will I require for other components of the MBA application? What other tests do I need to take? Answer to these questions will give you a clear picture of the application timeline. Let's assume the application deadline is on 1st November. Working backward from the deadline, you should keep 3 months time for essays and recommendations. It will take you to the GMAT retake test date. August 1 and a 1 month time for its preparation. Your GMAT exam date will be July 1st. Taking GMAT early will give you enough time to prepare for IELTS or TOEFL comfortably. So you need to set your GMAT exam date as at least 4 months before the application deadline. To know more about GMAT, please log on to www.careerlauncher.com/gmat or click on the link provided in the description below. Thank you for watching.